Hello everyone, we welcome you to another interesting episode of How to Ace the Hackathon. I, Arindam Mandal, on behalf of entire Smart India Hackathon team, welcome you to another important and interesting masterclass on how to crack the hackathon. Today, uh, we have with us another participant and a winner of previous edition of Smart India Hackathon, Ms. Sanika. Let's have her on screen and directly speak to her about her experience about the hackathon. So, Sanika, hi, welcome to the show. Hello. How are you? I'm nice. How are you? Good, 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 good. So, thanks for uh, taking out this time for us and, uh, you know, as we want to help the first timers, the Smart India Hackathon uh, aspirants to understand and have some tips from the uh, so-called pros of the previous edition of Smart India Hackathon and why not? Because first-hand experience is always the best. So, we'll start with this. Uh, what was your take about Smart India Hackathon? How did you hear about it first? And uh, what was the initial reaction to this entire event? Uh, Smart India Hackathon, as in it was like the a mail was shot in our college that SIS is happening and internal hackathon is happening and we have to participate in it. So like we were locked down batch, so we didn't have much of a like exposure in college and that was our first year in our college. Like being in the second year, it was our first year. So uh, like we were a little uh, like scared to participate. But our uh, like professors and all asked us to like participate and give it a try. So we made a team and we participated in the internal hackathon. Good. Uh, did you hear about the word hackathon before uh, this event, or was it the first time uh, uh, thing that you were experiencing? No, no. Before uh, uh, when in COVID, I have participated in various hackathons, like online on other platforms itself. Okay. So for the user, I mean, the, for the viewers who are listening to us right now, uh, what is the one thing or what is uh, the thing that separates Smart India Hackathon from the rest of the hackathons and how do you think it is a uh, entirely a different platform or a ball game together? If you can just let us know. Uh, other hackathons were like a small uh, exposure, but Smart India Hackathon was a vast exposure. Like it was the first hackathon in which like it was so long for me. It was 36 hours long. And uh, like other hackathons, they usually ask us to participate on the on our problem statement. But uh, this time we were challenged by SIS team as for the problem statements to work on. Great. So viewers uh, and my dear friends, you just heard it. Smart India Hackathon is basically a platform where the real time problems that are being faced by the country and the nation and the entire world today is being put as a problem statement to you. And you've been given a platform to develop a solution on that. So basically you are in turn helping the nation grow. So that's, that's uh, something that separates Smart India Hackathon from the rest. So, Sanika, coming back to you, uh, breaking down this entire process from initial idea submission to the training and finally to the grand finale where the action, the main action happens. Uh, if I want to take your inputs and if you want to give our viewers that this kind of thing should be kept in mind while each phase happens, what would it be? The first and the foremost thing that everyone should keep in mind while uh, participating in the hackathon is you have to be clear about the problem statement and you have to understand in depth as in what the problem statement states. Uh, our problem statement was attractiveness and user friendliness of AICPP. So we understood it as attractive as in being a uh, website being user friendly so that every user could access and attractive in an aesthetic way so that everyone finds it pleasing and everyone is uh, everyone attention could be caught on the side so understanding the problem statement then a presentation was on the basis of what everyone is selected so from the first stage till the final stage until you reach the nodal center it is your presentation which presents what you are going to implement in the hackathon 
So a good presentation is a plus one for getting selected. And on moreover, you have to have a strong team of good domain experience of whatever your problem statement is. So that's all I need uh, to go ahead with. Great. So uh, participants, you just as you heard that you know, we have been constantly reiterating from all the winners of the past edition that the base thing is be clear about what exactly the problem statement is demanding from you. And secondly, a strong team to back it up. So it's basically a combination of both which leads you to the final round and leads you to become a winner. Okay, Sanika, coming back to your point, any mentor was there with you and how did they contribute and how, how important do you think a mentor should be? For a team? According to me, mentors are pretty much important in the initial stages of your uh, hackathon. If you're participating for the first time, uh, definitely take help of your mentor. We choose, uh, chose our mentor from our college professors. He assisted us with like how you have to present, how to identify your users, and he also helped us with meeting a past alumni of SIH. They also guided us in a way that how the whole process goes on. So I guess mentors are pretty much important when you're participating for the first time. Great. Uh, if I talk about uh, on ground during the grand finale that was happening at your noodle center, what was the experience and uh, anything that you would like to share to the viewers on the interaction between the evaluators, the mentors that happens? I mean, there are three uh, evaluation rounds that generally happens during the session. What are the things that has to be kept in mind while you are interacting on those evaluation sessions with the evaluators? Firstly, our nodal center was Chandigarh University. So we were very fascinated with the, like, uh, by going there. And uh, the whole process, the 36 hours were broken down into three rounds and three uh, mentoring sessions. Like first, the mentor used to come evaluate whatever we have done. And based on that, he used to mentor us as in, uh, what all could be done, what all unique could be done, or what all needs to be implemented in the problem statement so that uh, uh, it is uh, it could be presented well. So, like every mentoring round was uh, carried upon by a, like an evaluation round. In the evaluation round, they used to judge us on the basis of what we have implemented. So, in our case, it was like uh, first uh, the mentors used to come and they used to evaluate the well we, uh, the more, more well we presented, the our points used to go up. And uh, that way we carried upon with three rounds and, and we had very good competitors, like, uh, but still we managed to get the position. That's great. So here we want to uh, highlight another important point for all the first timers, that it's not only about the ideation that you do. It's how much you can implement it on a real time while you are at the hackathon venue. And also, is your prototype actually implementable in the real time? Is it scalable? So these all points should be kept in mind while you present or develop your prototype during the 36 hours hackathon or in case 72 hours hackathon, which happens for the hardware problem statements. So Sanika, uh, uh, what exactly were evaluators, uh, were there any suggestions that were given to you and how do you think the mentoring round during those 36 hours helped you out? Uh, the mentoring rounds were pretty much important, like it was the clue which you have to implement. Like uh, the mentor used to come and he used to give us a clue that this problem is very much important right now and uh, like how it could be implemented and how what could be the use case. Like what is the main problem? So based upon the problem, we used to think like what more could be implemented so that the uh, our, those that problem could be solved. So uh, that is what they expected in an evalu evaluation round. And uh, on the basis of those mentoring rounds, only we got points. So like it, in our case, it was like first mentoring round. We was pretty much excited about like we did very well. But in that excitement, we like we did not do the second round very good. So you have to maintain the consistency too. That also plays a very important role. Exactly. 
so you know as you heard from directly from the winners it's consistency so you know sometimes it ought to happen that you are so excited that you forget where you are actually heading towards so don't do that mistake uh, so yes anika i think it was pretty much insightful uh, to conclude it uh, if you can just give couple of tips and hacks that would help these first timers to you know uh, sail through this entire process what would it be a couple of pointers couple of pointers to get selected is a good presentation understanding of your problem statement and knowing the implementation well is all i could say be confident if like there are enough sources on the internet you could study and uh, solve the problem so you have to be confident is what could take you forward perfect thank you so much sanika thank you for taking out this time and all the very best uh, for your all future endeavors hope to see you soon thank you thank you so much so viewers wasn't that interesting i am sure you could relate uh, to sanika at some point of time if not in the coming hackathon you will definitely do with this i think you got a great set of uh, ideas and tricks that will definitely help you during all these three rounds of smart india hackathon and finally who knows you might be the next winner of smart india hackathon till then have a great time and stay tuned for more information and interesting videos like this see you take care